Hey Dawns, happy Friday and welcome to the last episode of CCTV for the month of January. Something great Cathedral has already accomplished in 2022 is meeting with Lincoln's ASB team. That's right, last Saturday Dawns ASB met to do some community building. They exchanged leadership strategies and shared a meal. Speaking of ASB, I know they're preparing our very own Cupid's Ball. Tickets are on sale now. There are certain contracts you need to fill out with your parents when you buy the tickets. Use your CCHS email when creating your My School Dance account. This will provide you with your digital ticket you need to enter the dance. Your student ID will also be required. Next week is Catholic Schools Week with snacks, hot chocolate, and thank you notes taking place outside of Mission and Ministry during break. But this week is Life Week. Now to Lauren and Jack with more on it. Good morning, Cathedral. This past Saturday, a pro-life group at Cathedral called Dawns for Life joined other organizations in the area to attend a pro-life walk in LA. From what I've heard, this event went pretty great, but this was just one event that started off Life Week at Cathedral. Let's hear from some of the leaders of Dawns for Life to learn more about this special week and this special walk. Was this the first Life Walk that you attended with Cathedral? And if not, which other ones have you attended? Yeah, so I've actually gone to two other Life Walks with Cathedral. My freshman year, we went to the March for Life in DC, which is the biggest one in the country. And that was really cool. Um, and then my sophomore year, we went to the San Diego Walk for Life. And now we went to LA this year. And what were the main events of this walk? So we had a lot of good speakers, a lot of incredible music. Some of my favorite speakers were Marie Rubio and um, Sister Bethany of the Sisters of Life. Um, she talked a lot about just being in unity together as a community, so that was really cool. Yeah, so this was actually my second walk. Uh, my first walk was two years ago. I, uh, we did the walk in San Diego, um, but then we were going to go last year, but obviously COVID hit. So this year we did One Life LA, which was my first time going to the walk in LA, but my second walk for life. What were some of your favorite memories from this walk? Seeing the Cathedral of Our Lady of Angels, I think, in LA and having a mass there was really beautiful. My favorite memory was just seeing the amount of people that were there. As a Catholic school, what have we done to celebrate Life Week? Each day there was a different theme. So on Monday we talked about children and the idea of hope for children. On Tuesday, uh, we also celebrated uh, Tammy New, who passed away last year. Can you tell us a little bit more about the speaker we just had? The speaker was Dr. Tom Kozak, who spoke about being a you know Catholic doctor and what that means for him, which was really cool. Thursday, we celebrated Hope for the Lonely, and Friday was just a celebration. So we're just celebrating the idea of life and what that means for us as a Catholic community. Thank you so much for sharing, Mr. Grammy. If you want to find out more information about how to get involved with Dawns for Life at Cathedral, please contact C. Laporte at cchsdawns.com. All are welcome. Thank you, Lauren and Jack, for covering our school's Life Week. Class registration is open with so many courses to choose from. Let's go to Ben and Abby to hear more. Hey Dawns, it's Abby. With class registration due this week, there's a lot to think about while checking out potential classes. I decided to talk to some teachers of interesting courses that are options for next year. Where we really get to engage with writing in sort of like a fun way. We do fiction, nonfiction, plays, and poetry. So you'll write some nonfiction memoir vignettes. Um, we'll do myth making. Um, we'll mimic fantasy stories, you'll write poetry, and you'll even have a chance to write your own short play. You'll practice writing an agent letter to publish your own work, and you'll turn one of your pieces into a longer piece of writing. And so you'll really leave the class kind of ready to be a published author in a way. Sure, college psychology is the study of uh, human behavior, uh, mental events like thinking, feeling, and social interactions. The first semester of college psychology is Psychology 101, where it's a college class, you get college credit for it, and it's an overview of different areas, the major perspectives of psychology. We do experiments in the class, on campus, things like that. And then so the second semester of that class is Psychology 114, which is the introduction to abnormal psychology. Mm -hmm. And all of the second semester is the study of mental illness. So we, all, we learn all about what the different kinds of mental illnesses are, what their potential causes and factors are, and then how they're treated. Mm -hmm class for students who are interested in being an options mentor but don't have time in their schedule to fit it in and so this way they can take religion in the summer it's one week in June and one week in August and then they participate as this 
options mentor during the school year? So during the school year, we'll meet roughly twice a month, and one time a month we will do curriculum, and the second time we'll do interactions with our options students, uh, anywhere from parties to creating things through the year. It's a lot of fun. It's going to allow students to pick an issue that they're really interested in and become an expert in that issue. So it can be something like health care, voting rights, gun rights, social justice issues, the pro-life, pro-choice debate, political elections and campaigns, things like that. Um, it'll also enable students to really focus on political current events. We can't talk about great classes here without mentioning our very own CCTV. Let's go behind the scenes with Brisa and Holden. Hey, hey Dons. Dons, it's Brisa and Holden. And today we're showing you a behind, behind the scenes of CCTV. CCTV. Welcome to the green room. Oh, hey Holden. Hey. This is our Amazing CCTV member Holden. He's the best at his job. This is the camera we have here in the green room. So basically you need an SD card, a charged battery, and someone to make sure everything looks good. Here we have Holden looking great. These are our lights. This right here is the blue screen. This is used when we have people here that are wearing green clothing. And if we put them on the green screen, if we have people here wearing green, you'll see right through them. Here we have our wardrobe rack that we actually use all the time. Right, Holden? We usually use it just to get dripped out. All sorts of drip back there you can choose from. Today I'm rocking this tie. These are our editors. What do you do? I edit the sports section. So a, the anchor, the field reports, the breakouts, everything sports related. Um, right Who? Ah. This is the timeline right here where we're working on the anchor segment. We've got the green screen cut out, so if we just hide the background, you'll see that the green is now replaced by the, black, the background of the school. Then we'll put it up on the drive, and then the anchors, or the editors, will bring that down from all the other sections and build the whole broadcast together, putting bumpers and all the other things what he said. This is behind the scenes of Abby's package. She's about to do an interview. Good job, Abby. Brisa, how does someone join CCTV? You have to take the prerequisites, which include filmmaking or drama. What does CCTV look for in a student? Someone who's hardworking, who's comfortable behind the camera, and if you don't want to be on camera, you can always be behind the scenes, whether that's filming or editing. If these things interest you or apply to you, take CCTV. Its actual name is Video Production 1-2. Ask your counselors and email Mr. A. It's been Holden. And Brisa. Peace. What is up, Dons, and welcome back to CCTV Sports. To get us started today, your varsity rugby team beat up on Miracosta 50-0, with Captain Dylan Fortune leading the team to victory. Nice shot, boys, on showing San Diego who runs the city. They play at home tonight against St. Augustine. Stop by at 7.30 to support our Dons in their toughest matchup this year. The boys' basketball team lost a close one against Mount Carmel 84-80, but will look to start up their winning streak again tonight against San Diego at 7.30. The girls team lost a shootout against the third ranked team in the country, only losing by three points. Their game tonight at six o'clock against Canyon Hills will not be one to miss. Our boys soccer team had a solid record going into a matchup against Point Loma tonight. With the team's senior night also being tonight, let's hand it over to Mason and take a peek into what makes this soccer team tick. What's going on, Dons? I'm Mason, I'm here with Brady Baxter Buckner, Connor McIntosh Douglas, Emmanuel Sadalo. Today we're going to talk about some soccer. Coming off the win against Saints, what are you guys looking forward to? Uh, just making open division playoffs is really our main goal, but yeah, big win against Saints got us back in the top five, so that was clutch. So Manny, what are some accomplishments you've had this season? Uh, scoring my first goal was a very big one, and Nick Martinez, fastest yellow card of the West, you know, us beating Saints. So how's it feel being slept on this season? So you know, the, the girls soccer team thinks they can beat us. Uh, you know, we love the hate, you know, keep coming at us, you know, we're going to be there. With the senior heavy team this year, who are some underclassmen that are standing out? Kyle Zuby. Uh, say, I mean, Stevie Dunphy. Uh, Mo and Lucero. So I know you guys are all great soccer players, but who are some players that you guys look up to? 
Uh, DeMarcus Cousins is third. I'm gonna go with Latavius Murray. You know, I really like Alex Morgan's work. Like, she's so good. So what are some big things you guys have been working on this season? I mean, the whole objective of the game is to just kick the ball in the net. So we've just been kicking balls and, you know, a little more kicking and some running and a little more kicking after that. Thank you guys for the interview. If you guys want to come support our team, we got a big game against Point Loma tonight at 6. Be there. Thanks, Mason. Today we're going to take a look at Rose Water Polo. Some of the star players are Ellie Puric, Elizabeth Carter, Elliot Degano, Haley Romano, Ashton Ward, Emma Rars, and Regan Geary. They had a game on Sunday against Vista and beat them 9-7. They also had a social tournament this weekend, but don't know who they're playing yet. CAFs are coming up soon for them as well. Make sure to support your Lady Dons as they proceed into playoffs. Thanks, Franco. The girls' next water polo game is next Tuesday at Coronado. On another note, the dance team went to Torrey Pines last Saturday for a competition and took home the gold. Competing against 27 other high schools, they took home five first place awards along with the Grand Champs title. Shout out to Haley Myers for winning Dancer of the Year at the competition. Congrats girls on an incredible accomplishment. That does it for sports this week. Now, let's hand it over to Social. Welcome back to Social Dons. And following the topic of Life Week, let's head to our Instagram and check out the highlights from this past week. If you haven't seen it, we've added a Life Week highlight to our Instagram page. We've posted all about the events from the week, so check it out to see the recap. To see more of what's happening on campus, follow our Instagram and stay tuned to see what's next. Thanks also for recapping all the activities from this week. Last reminder for NHS new member applications for eligible sophomores and juniors. They are due Monday, January 31st. Please email Mr. Carl with any questions. Thank you for joining CCTV on this fine Friday. And always remember, Cathedral, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a Don. Don. See you next week.